Yeah, really uh, <laughs> crazy day, super fast. Um, yeah, it was a day that, that I was looking forward to before the both even started. I said, uh, yeah, I, I, want, I wanted to win on the, on the Engli Ru, <laughs> just like every other, every other uh, climber in the race. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that's what we, what we did today. Uh, the three of us were, were up there right until the end. And um, yeah, uh, Primoz deserved the win. I mean, uh, just just like yesterday with with Jonas attacking, he deserved the win. Uh, and also Primoz today, he, he deserved the win. And I think that's that's how the the racing should be. And it looked like you, I think you deserved the red jersey too. You fought hard to keep it there with Landa, getting third place on the line. Jonas said, "I would love for Sep to win the Vuelta." He just told us that. Primo said, "Yes, he should go for the Vuelta win." How much closer do you think you are to that today? Yeah, I, th I think I'm a lot closer, and, and I, I think I showed uh, today and, and a lot of the other stages that I that I deserve to be in this in this position. Um, yeah, it's it's a it's a position that uh, I'll probably never never be in <laughs> again in my life, and. Uh, uh, yeah, I I realize that, and and they they realize that too, um, and yeah, they 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 really want to see me win. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I think in a Grand Tour, there's so many situations and and ways the race can play out. So there's also room for for everyone else, um, and that's also the beauty of of our team. There's there's room for a lot of the the great champions that that are on the team. And uh, yeah, sometimes there's room for the, the little guys like, like me to, <laughs> to have their, their opportunity. <laughs> yeah, don't sell yourself short. Uh, now, what I understand what you said there earlier is that tomorrow is not as hard. Is that right? And then, and then you have stage 20, of course, to contend with. Yeah, it's, it's a different kind of stage. I, I think, you know, the, the, the final climb or climbs aren't as hard, but it's, it's also a stage where there can be more more surprises it's it's more uh yeah tricky terrain um so we we have to be really sharp um like like on uh, today with with solar attacking from a distance that, that can also happen tomorrow we'll see wh where the what the differences are after today um but yeah I, I think today was was one of the really important stages to to get through what did you say in the radios when you're dropped Oh, I just said uh, to, to keep going, do your race. I'm just going to ride my my own pace. Because you could ask the question, why didn't they wait for you? Because Landa isn't a threat for the GC. No, but on on a climb like this, yeah, it's it's in my opinion, it's it's fine to just ride your own pace. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I think it was it was okay enough for me to luckily. Uh, just, just make it across the line. Eight seconds. That's the difference between you oh, and uh, Jonas Vingegaard. Doesn't that make you any nervous? Yeah, yeah it's, it's not uh, too much of a lead anymore, but uh, yeah, it'll be exciting the next days. <laughs> but keeping the red jersey today is that the nicest gift you could give yourself today on your birthday? Yeah, for sure. When I crossed the line, I, I thought I had lost it. So when I when I heard I still had it, it was a really uh, nice surprise. What, what did you say to Mikel Landa at the finish line? Oh, I, I just said uh, I'm I'm sorry for for sprinting him for the the third place because yeah he he deserved it more than I did, uh, and and uh, that I I hope he understands that that I needed to go for the the bonus seconds. So uh, yeah, I I just wanted to make that clear to him. Between, uh, between phrases, it's correct to say that Mikel Landa helped you at the end because probably without Landa you could uh, lose the uh, red jersey or not? Yeah, for sure he, he helped me in the end. Uh, I mean, yeah, they, Bahrain also really took on the race in the end and they, and they did a really impressive race. So uh, I, I thought they, they deserved something from, from the stage. And... Uh, yeah, it's it's an honor to be be helped by uh, a guy like Landa, who who I respect a lot and and uh, was always watching on on TV before I started road racing. Okay, okay. thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Thanks. Happy
E questa, ragazzi, è la traduzione sintetica veloce della maglia rossa Sepp Kuss. Sepp rimane infatti leader della classifica di questa Vuelta, seppure con appena 8 secondi di vantaggio. Allora, tra le domande più importanti che gli abbiamo chiesto e che i colleghi della stampa straniera gli hanno chiesto, allora prima di tutto se era concordata in, insomma questa tattica finale della Jumbo, come abbiamo visto ieri l'attacco eh, di Vingegaard, oggi lo abbiamo rivisto con il doppio attacco di Vingegaard e Roglic, ha detto sì, alla fine noi abbiamo deciso questo, che nel secondo giorno di riposo con la squadra abbiamo deciso che deve vincere il più forte, quindi cerchiamo chiaramente di non farci del male tra di noi, però alla fine è giusto che vinca il più forte anche oggi, Vingegaard ha guadagnato eh, terreno. È l'Angliro una delle salite, forse anzi sicuramente ha detto è la salita principale, più bella, leggendaria di questo, eh, di questo sport, quindi le è piaciuto tantissimo, tra l'altro festeggiarla, visto che oggi è il suo compleanno, credeva di aver perso la maglia rossa qui al traguardo, non pensava appunto di averla mantenuta per eh, soli 8 secondi. Gli abbiamo chiesto poi se eh, si può dire che insomma tra virgolette l'Anda l'ho aiutato nel finale, l'abbiamo visto, lui si è staccato, ma l'Anda diciamo, è rientrato e l'ha, tra virgolette, insomma, scortato al traguardo, facendogli quindi anche guadagnare dei secondi preziosi. Lui ha detto no, cioè, mi ha dato una mano, sicuramente sì, e... però pensavo comunque di aver perso la maglia rossa appunto al traguardo, ma insomma la Bahrain ha detto, ha fatto i complimenti alla Bahrain, alla, alla, al finale insomma, della, della salita dell'Angliro, hanno fatto un ritmo folle, altissimo, proprio per cercare di eh, far rientrare l'Anda nella top 5, insomma, che è l'obiettivo appunto del corridore basco. Tra la, le altre cose, insomma, eh, di domande che gli sono state fatte ormai eh, inizia a crederci inizia a crederci molto di più anche perché ormai le tappe alla fine della vuelta cominciano a diminuire domani c'è una tappa non così dura infatti lo stesso Sepp ha detto sì domani mi dovrei difendere senza alcun problema mentre invece a questo punto la tappa decisiva possiamo dire per la vittoria finale tra lui e Vingegaard che sono i più accreditati appunto alla vittoria finale di questa vuelta sarà sabato dove ci sarà oggettivamente un'altra tappa estremamente impegnativa Roglic gli, fatto, gli ha fatto i complimenti lui ha gradito molto, ha fatto i complimenti a Sepp dicendogli secondo me tu dovresti essere il vincitore di questa vuelta, lui ha sorriso ovviamente ci spera, ci crede e sa lo ha detto, un'occasione di questo tipo, di questo genere così importante di vincere un grande giro come appunto la vuelta di Spagna probabilmente non gli capiterà più per il momento è tutto, al prossimo video ciao ragazzi